In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blur in Illustrator. So, blur. There's an effect called Gaussian blur that we're going to use. Now, you can apply this effect to any object, including images. So, let's click on this beautiful face right here, and we'll go up to Effect, down to, I believe it's in, no, it's not going to be in Stylized. It's actually going to be in these Photoshop effects, Blur, then Gaussian blur. And so, we're gonna, and there's a couple others, but I like to use just the Gaussian blur. Now, we can increase the radius, which increases the amount of blur. But there is something I need to show you, and let's see if we can hit the edge of our document. No, and it might be because my document setting is set correctly, but I'm going to show you something here in a second. Anyway, you've got this radius that you can control the amount of blur. Now, we can do that with images, just like this image is now blurry. We can also do it with objects, so I could attach it to this. So I have this little logo for Illustrator right there. We can go to effect. I could apply that effect again, or I can just come down and re, uh, kind of restart the effect from the beginning, and we can increase the blur, and we can just completely blur this guy out completely so he's more like a orb of color instead of any sort of shape. So that's how you can blur things, but I need to show you one thing. You may run into an issue where your blur has a sharp cutoff, and that happens a lot. And what you need to do with that is go up to, I believe, Effect, and then Document Raster Effects Settings. Inside of here, you would want to make sure, yep, so this is the issue here. Or actually, this is no issue because I've already changed this. This might say something like 72 pixels or something like that for you. And let's see if that affects the blur. We're going to go in and re- do the blur. So if we select an object that has the blur on it, we can click the three dots over here in the appearance panel and we can see the blur right here. And we can actually edit that effect. If you pull open the appearance panel of an object you have selected, you can click on the blur and redo the blur. Now let's see if we can reach the edge. There we go. Okay. So do you guys see how this clips off in a square like that? If you're getting that kind of issue on the edge of your blur, which definitely, definitely happens as a default in Illustrator, that's where you need to go up to Effect, Document Raster Effect Settings, and you need to increase the area around the object that it allows the effect to be. So I had this set at 500 pixel, and or 500 pixels around the object, so that's like if there's a bounding box around the effect, this gives 500 pixels before you reach that bounding box. So you can increase this to whatever you want. Also, if your effect is not very, uh, I mean, I don't wanna say blurry or pixelated, if it's too pixelated or something, you can adjust the resolution of the effect, uh, but be wary that this will actually cause your computer to slow down quite a bit if you have a lot of effects in your document. So you could wait till the end to adjust this before you export. I'll keep it at 72 and we hit OK, and now we'll see that you see how that blurry area now goes all the way out there outside of uh, the edges of what we had. Uh, there's no real bounding box there because the 500 pixels covers it, uh, but this is obviously way, way, way too blurry, so we're gonna bring that back. But this is how you can blur here in Adobe Illustrator.